come nightfall, we shall bury our dead. And then, by God, we shall bury this army. With such pitiful men in our ranks, it were better this war were never fought. Not a drop of English blood soiled this English land. It's a bad officer who blames his men, Cromwell. I blame them not, my lord, for they are simple men. But what match are farmer's boys against gentlemen's sons? The battle is not yet lost, Cromwell. This battle was lost before it ever began, my lord. And in like manner, so will this war. In the morning, I'm returning to Cambridge. If you desert the field, I'll have you arrested. This war will not be won with untrained plowmen, apprentices, old decaying serving men. We need men with fire in their bowels who fear the Lord, but not the enemy. As God is my witness, I am resolved that this battle will be won. Therefore, it is my intention to return to Cambridge and raise an army of hand-picked men, the like of which this nation has never seen, with or without your permission, my Lord Manchester. <laughs> you stands the enemy. His three to every one of us. And where, in God's name, is Manchester? My Lord Manchester will rue the day he has not joined us here. And now to your positions. These tactics we have practiced often enough these past six months. Now let us put them to the test. For upon this field of Naseby will turn the tide of this unhappy war. God be with you all. Is this wise, Oliver? We're heavily outnumbered. Was not Gideon outnumbered by the Amalekites? It is not numbers that count, but speed and surprise. Let no man move except upon the word of his commander. Though we be outnumbered, we shall win this battle, I promise you. So now, put your faith in God and keep your powder dry. Yeah! 